What's going on everybody? Coach Diggett here, Derek. It's been a minute since I've been on here, since I posted a video to this channel. Why am I posting a video after all this time, all these years? Well, it's because it's time for a change. And as you can tell by the title, we rejoined as what was formerly known as Beachbody Coaches, uh, now known as, or they're transitioning to Body Partners. There's just a lot of controversy with the term beach body and the whole concept of coaching and what you must know or must not know. But I just got home and just wanted to take a quick minute and kind of explain why we are getting back into it. Um, as you know, we were coaches for, we were in for about 12 years, but most of that time we were just basically discount coaches and we were dormant. We didn't really do anything. We didn't stay active in the business itself, but there for a while we were, we were pushing it pretty hard and got to know many great people. But when it came to trying to get people to sign up either as customers or coaches, they pretty much ran out the door as soon as they heard that, you know, working out would be involved. Given they were informed, you know, workout programs like P90X, Insanity, Turbo Fire, you know, big ones back then, T25 when that first came out. And it got to be really frustrating. But the last probably four or five years has been about the biggest struggle I can think of through life, just in general. Um, I'll be the first to admit that my mentality has just depleted to almost nothing. I mean, my mental health is just beyond terrible. <laughs> and that has to change. But we're just in a position that my wife hasn't been able to work for about three years. So we've been family of four, a single income, and it has been a big struggle, worse than I ever imagined. Um, and I just, I hate the fact that I am unable to provide for them the way that I should be able to. I know in today's world, today's society, a single income family home is impossible. I mean, it's unless you're making six figures or more. I mean, and it's just, especially around here, it's hard to make ends meet. But I, I hate the town that we live in. There's just nothing around here that I feel is worth staying for. I hate my job. Um, I like the benefits that I get, the time off, but I am absolutely miserable there. And I know people might think I'm completely stupid, but I don't publicly put, you know, where I work or my employer, you know, anything regarding work as far as, you know, where I'm employed. And I just took a picture of the Indeed website this morning and posted it after my workout and just said, you know, it's time to start looking just for new jobs. And um, there was one supervisor that came in to where I work. I was in the back and was walking to the front. He was talking to my manager and I heard the conversation start and he repeated it a two or three times because she talks and doesn't let anybody else say what they're saying. So she interrupted. And he, but he repeated about three times saying, well, it was brought to my attention. And as soon as he saw me, they went into her office and started talking. So I know there's somebody, which I have very high 
belief as to who, and there's more than one person, you know, who would have gone like a little snitch and basically cried about what I put on Facebook, just a picture saying it's time to start looking for, you know, new options, new jobs. But, uh, so I know as soon as this goes out, it's just going to be like World War Three. But I'm just, I feel stuck where I'm at just because of, like I said, the time off, the, you know, just the amount of PTO we're able to accumulate and the holidays that we get. We get two weeks paid during Christmas time, which is amazing. And they do work well with family. You know, if something comes up with the family, I'm able to you know, take care of my wife and kids, but it's just, it's not my dream. So my wife and I are getting back into being mentors or coaches, partners, whatever you want to call it through body, formerly beach body, because when we were doing it in the beginning, when we, you know, really started focusing on the business aspect of it, we were happy we were working on our health. We were making changes. And, you know, we were bettering ourselves. We were helping other people better themselves. They may not have, you know, signed up even as customers, but they started some sort of a workout plan. And they contributed or stated that a lot of what they started doing was because we led them in that direction we showed them but we started losing hope when like I said a lot of most of the people that we talked to as soon as they realized that there would be more working out trying to work on your nutrition they ran out the door um, it was hard to stay motivated because the downline that we were in was not growing at all I mean we weren't seeing our sponsoring coaches showing growth they weren't leading by example they weren't reaching out I mean we had I don't know how many years we went with no communication whatsoever with them so it just got to the point where we figured okay you know we'll continue using the products we will you know do the Shakeology we'll work out and we'll just go through life we'll just roll through everything, roll with the punches. But, you know, that was just kind of it. But we met our current coach back in 2012 when we went to the Coach Summit in Vegas. Uh, we actually talked to him for a few minutes at a water cooler. We were all getting a drink and didn't realize who he was. But at that point, I think he had just reached two or three star diamond and they brought him up on the stage after we talked to him. So it was kind of crazy but just hearing his story I've always always looked up to him because he set such a great example in the business so we dropped out for a little while and we actually re-signed under him and his name is Scotty I'm sure you've seen his posts and whatnot but he and his wife his five kids are all amazing people so we are super excited to get started again on this new revamped version of an old journey um i really got to get out of the groove because like i said i just as i start feeling like things are looking up i'm put in a situation that my mind just goes in the gutter and it seems like an eternity for me to fight my way out of it and that's my biggest part is that i know i i I'm at a point where I don't care about a lot, but then there's things like that that just really get in there and make it difficult to focus, buckle down, and just really start fighting for why we are in it. But I want to be able to give my wife and my kids something to look forward to. I want to be able to go on a vacation. We've been married almost 12 years now and we haven't had a honeymoon 
we haven't really had a vacation for the kids' birthdays. We'll try to go out of town and go to like a museum or stay at a hotel and do a few things, but it doesn't, to me, I mean, that's not really a vacation. You know, I, I want to be able to do more than just go to the lake for a night or, you know, go out of town and go to the same places that we've been to before. So I want to take vacations. I want to enjoy life. I want to just at spur of the moment, be able to do things and, and not have to worry about not being able to provide like I need to, like I should be able to. So it's just, it's been a struggle, but I'm excited to get back into helping people, mentoring them, not necessarily, you know, coaching them, but being there as an accountability partner and leading by example. Yes, I will be the first to admit my nutrition sucks. It has sucked for years. We started making a bunch of changes about seven years ago and we started getting results, but then that's when my son was born and life took over and it's been difficult ever since. I mean, like super difficult. So, uh, I'm just, I'm ready to get back in the groove. I want to show people that it's possible. You know, I'm, like I said, I'm 35 now and I'm miserable. I don't like where I live. I don't like where I work. I don't like most of the people that I have to be around. It just keeps me in a negative mindset and I'm ready to get out of those groups. I want to get out of this area where there's more there's more out there in general just more of anything more of everything more life and just get away from here and like I said I know this is probably going to create an uproar because people are going to see it and run to anyone and everyone at the place where I work and just be a bunch of ridiculous people. But like I said, I don't care because I have goals. I have dreams. I have plans to get out of this slump and not just get by, you know, I want to do more than get by. I want to thrive and just enjoy every second of it. So I'm sorry I've been rambling on. I'm going to try to leave this all uncut. I don't, I'm not a big editor. And with it being on my phone, I just want to get it up, get it out there. And like I said, I, I'm ready to start helping people again and showing them that there's a way to, as Beach Bodies or Bodies motto has always been, you know, help people achieve the ultimate lifestyles. I mean, to have a healthy and fulfilling life and just you know live it to the max all the time and that's that's what I want to achieve that's what I want to help other people achieve and I want I want to be that example to my kids like I said the last several years have been horrible and I have been a terrible father I've been a terrible husband I've been a terrible son and I want to change that and I want to I want to get in the right state of mind and I want to lead and show all of them what we can achieve because together we can achieve more than what we can do on our own at any given time. So it may be easier and smoother to do things on your own in the beginning. But once you get going, if you have a team behind you, it makes all the difference in the world. And that's what I, what I want to do. I want to build a team of people who are like-minded and want to help others build an empire and show that there are good people out there, that you've always got somebody on your side to help you push forward and to reach for your own dreams and goals until you achieve them, surpass them, and continue for new ones and I want to be that guy and like I said it's been crazy the last several years but it's time for a change and I know together we can do that 
So I will post a couple links to my newer updated body site, Team Beach Body site, whatever you want to call it now. Um, it's going to be hard getting used to the new terms just because it's been, you know, beach body for 24, 25 years. So, but I know they're on the right path and it is more in line with their mission, their goals, and something that needs to be done. So if you guys are looking for help or, you know, want to get started, want to have an accountability partner, let me know because I would love to help you. I would love for you to help me, hold me accountable. And like I said, together we can do this. So it's been a while. I hope it works. Now it's time to put this out there and help you guys out. And uh, we'll see what kind of repercussions I face at the workplace. And uh, give me more drive to keep pushing for what I want, what I believe in. And being able to give my family what they deserve. And be able to walk my kids to school and not just drop them off and go. And I want to be there for them and not as a negative Nancy, you know, I want to, I want to be the uplifting, positive, happy go lucky father that they deserve. So you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for your time. Like I said, I'm sorry that I've been rambling for 16 minutes and 47 seconds, but I'm going to end there. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you in the comments below. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, reach out to me. I would love to help you guys on your fitness journeys, your health journeys. Let's build up that health esteem. Let's get our mind right, our health right, and fight for what we believe in, what we deserve. So we'll see you guys later. Bye.